Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Noise, and welcome back to Stone Block 2. In the last episode, we were working on... What were we doing? We were doing some machine stuff, I do believe. And I've actually gone ahead and expanded our machine room um, just a little bit. Um, so, yeah, we were doing some upgrades. That's right, we upgraded our Magmatic Dynamo and... I don't remember what else we were doing. We were doing some other things. It's been a little bit, um, and I don't remember. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, I expanded the, the machine room a little bit in the between episodes. And one of the big things is this is not how it's going to look. It's actually going to have some staircase going down right away, and then it's going to open up, and then there's going to be multiple levels in here. Uh, I think that would look cool. Uh, I have a vague idea of what I want it to look like, but um, I'm not quite ready to get there yet. And we still have a lot of work to do otherwise. So, uh, still a work in progress. Everything is. Uh, and we'll get it done uh, as we go. So, one of the big things um, that's been annoying me is getting to the end because I had to go farm some ender pearls. Um, and I did. Uh, I actually died while I was at it. Um, so, I think that's the first death I've had. Uh, but yeah, I farmed some ender pearls and died to Ninderman. Uh, if you leave the area in the end dark, uh, it does spawn a lot of Ninderman in. So I don't know if you have to leave it dark, um, but that's how I've had luck finding them. Uh, but yeah, so one of the annoying things is getting through the mining dimension. And so I've decided to use reinforced um, stone brick stairs to, well, climb that way up. That's right. Okay, now I remember what we did last episode. We did Ender.io. We were working with Ender.io, um, preparing for some automation stuff today. Uh, so, uh, the reinforced brick stairs are what I'm going to use to make a nice staircase um, from through the mining dimension. And these are really easy to make. They are just reinforced stone bricks, which is reinforced stone, which is literally cobblestone, and logs will give you four. Um, you can use cobblestone and planks to give you one uh, reinforced stone. But it's obviously a lot cheaper to do um, a log and cobblestone. Um, and we have infinite logs from our tree farms, uh, our apple and string farm. So no big deal. Uh, and then we have infinite cobblestone. So it's, it's, it's super cheap and it looks really nice. So um, just to kind of show off, they're just dark bricks. Um, they look nice. I like them. Uh, I've used them a lot in other series. So, um, I have a couple of loot crates to open from killing the Enderman. And nothing too interesting. Ooh, ink black. Um, let's put this stuff in here. And then I need to kind of make a list of all of the chickens and whatnot. We have a good bit of... Uh, nether quartz but i'm gonna need to kind of work with chickens and that's gonna be more making the farm eventually but uh we'll get there as well so um i'm kind of focusing this time on machines before i do too much with anything else uh and we'll go from there so today's episode uh first thing i want to do i do want to try to get um the master infusion crystal because it has unlimited uses and that's just gonna require some supremium and we've been getting uh, a bunch of infernium from our garden cloche. Um, so let's just convert that all into whatever we can get, uh, which I think is going to be, and it's actually gonna be a couple quests. Um, four stacks is one uh, Supremium. So we just need a few more stacks. And this is my like to-do chest for now. So we'll just put that in there. Um, now we have a couple quests completed, so let's go ahead and get those taken care of. Uh, we can get some random rewards. Im imaginary time block. No way. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Black lotuses, that's nice. Um, okay, void or minor tier one. That's not too crazy. But that imaginary time block, this is... This is crazy. Um, okay. So, uh, let's see. Lotuses. Uh, the Void Orb Miner Controller Tier 1 is pretty nice just because it does cost um, 
diamonds and these lithrite tiles, which are really annoying to get. Um, they come from lithrite, which you can either make with green dye and lime dye and diamonds, or you can mine them up. Well, we have the void ore miner, so we can mine them up. That's really nice. But this thing, this thing requires two nether stars, gold casing, which is not too expensive, cubic cluster three, cubic cluster two, cubic cluster one, cubic crystals, which these are ender crystals. This is really, really, really expensive. Um, and it's also really, really powerful. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I have any... I don't remember how it works is the problem. Um, but I think... If I don't get stuck in the wall. Okay, it does need power. Uh, and I don't want to... Okay, I do have to break it with a pick. Um, if you power this thing, uh, it is a tick accelerator, I do believe, and it's a very powerful one. So that is really, really cool. Um, the fact that we got that from a random reward is kind of crazy. So, yeah. Um, today, <laughs> let's get into today's episode and what I want to actually do. Uh, so the first thing I want to work on is I want to make the inscribers... Um, automatic I want to make uh, a couple blank patterns and we're going to have uh, automated applied energistics processors uh, and that will allow us to kind of expand the you know uh, the the applied energistic system uh, and not really have to worry about too much um, and then all we'll have to do is get the resources to actually expand uh so i don't know that i'm i'm going to like fully uh so what am i trying to say i don't think i'm going to fully tr set it up um we're just going to get the automation part done uh and then what we'll, we can hook it up later as needed um but what we need to do is we need to get okay i guess we have to look at inscribers um, if we look at the inscriber, the recipes that it can do, um, we're going to need diamonds, redstone, and gold, pure surface quartz, which we'll get that in a moment. Uh, so we'll need a piece of redstone. Actually, we'll want a few pieces of redstone. We'll want a few diamonds. We'll want, we'll want a little bit of all of it. Um, I don't have any more gold in there, but I have plenty of gold. Uh, so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some automation, and um, we just need to set up so that we we need to be relatively close to this, but I don't have everything I need yet, so we're just going to put it in the middle for right now, and we'll worry about things later. Uh, so uh, let me think about this. Can we, can we wrench these? It'd be really nice. No, of course not. Um, so I don't know that these are sided. We'll see that in a second. Um, and we're probably going to need more room down here. Uh, but that's okay too. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get some item conduits. Which is going to require some conduit binders. So that's clay, gravel, and sand. Uh, and I should have the clay in here. I do have a little bit of clay in here. Uh, and then we'll need the gravel and sand, which is over there. Uh, and then we can make some Ender I.O. conduits. Um, and that is going to allow us to do some cool things. Uh, and then what we can also work on, and that is going to be the rest of this episode, is we're going to work on a cobble works. Now, if you've never heard of what a cobble works is, uh, the basic gist of it is, well, you use a cobblestone generator to make glass, stone, gravel, dirt, sand, and dust. In this mod pack, dirt is added in because of um, gravel going to dirt and dirt going to sand. Um, usually, it would be gravel to sand, and you don't worry about having an extra uh, space for dirt, but uh, you can also just make it however you want you know whatever resources you want the idea is 
you use a cobblestone generator to make other things and store them automatically. And uh, we're going to need some iron. I think we only need one, to be perfectly honest. This will make three recipes worth and a single ender pearl. Um, and that will make three recipes worth of the conduit binders. So we just need... Doesn't even matter. Um, this. So what we're going to have is a cobble works that makes gravel, sand, dirt, dust, dirt, stone, and glass. And we're going to set it up in here. Um, and it will probably get moved later, but um, we'll set it up and then I can just move it whenever I need to. Uh, and we're going to use that to mostly sift. Um, that's how we're going to get a lot of resources in the nearest future. So we're going to make as many of these item conduits as we can. And um, we're also going to want some basic item filters, which is paper and hoppers. Now, do we have enough stuff to make another... Okay, let's make another hopping bonsai. Um, because these things are so useful. So we're going to need two hoppers. And we're going to need a sapling. Um, do we have any more? I do have some more gravel. That is good to know. But I need iron. I need a lot of iron. I don't have... Well, I have quite enough for right now. But I'll probably need more in the very nearest future. So let's make two chests. Because we're going to need two hoppers. Uh, and then one of these hoppers will be for the item filter. The other one will be for the bonsai plant, uh, bonsai pot. And we just need a couple of bricks. Do we have any more clay whatsoever? No, but we can make some pretty easily. Uh, let's get our bucket out. We just need two, two dust. And... I don't have any dust, so we will hammer it down. This is why I want a cobble works. Um, so I don't have to worry about this kind of stuff and can be a little bit quicker about getting resources. Um, now that is something else we could make uh, from the cobble works is we could make an automatic uh, clay farm as well, but meh, um, no real reason to. Do I have another, I should have a stone barrel somewhere um I thought I did anyways eh whatever okay let's just break this it was full of witch water but we don't want witch water right now we want normal water so we can make some clay and then turn this clay into bricks uh, and then go from there so uh, the hopping bonsai plant is going to be we're, we're making this a second one for the the only reason is to get paper um, so we're gonna want another chest we'll put that down um, no not like that um, I guess we can put that right here. That'll work. Uh, and then once we have the hopping bonsai plant, uh, pot, I keep wanting to call it a plant. Um, we just need a sapling. Do I have any extras in here? No. Um, but we also need some paper to begin with. And that might be a challenge. Uh, because I don't know if we have any paper. We're going to need this so that we can get a couple of filters. So sawdust. Um, rice. I can do that. So three rice will make some paper. Um, that is super duper useful. So with the paper, we just take an oak sapling and we combine it. That's it. Uh, do I need to have all three? Yes. And that is a paper bark tree. Um, so a paper bark tree is like the string tree or the apple tree. It's going to give us paper. 
Um, and that's, that's literally it. So bonsai pot with a hopper, so it's automatic. Um, we'll need a piece of dirt and no problems. So with this, we'll have uh, infinite paper coming in and it'll be awesome. We don't have to worry about anything. Uh, it'll just take some time to get some papers. So um, instead of doing the inscribers first, uh, let's actually put those back away and let's grab our cobble works, our cobblestone generator rather. And I want to upgrade one of these. I don't really need both of them, um, but I want to upgrade one of these. So we need eight iron for that and then eight diamonds. A little expensive. In fact, I don't have either of those things right now. Um, yeah, I am clean out of iron. Ooh, that is not good. Uh, I didn't realize that. So, do we have any more diamonds? We have one diamond over here. I might have to go sift for a bit. Um, but we can at least start getting things set up. So, um, what we're going to need is we're going to need, we're going to use mechanism machines for this. Uh, and we're also going to use some drawers and drawer controllers. So, um, let's grab just another stack of wood and let's make... See, we're going to need um, one, two, th three basic drawers um, like this. So let's get some chests and then we'll get some wood. And I just want to make uh, three of these. We, we're going to get an extra one. But that's actually okay because... Um, we're also going to make a drawer controller, which requires a drawer. So um, we just need two comparators. Um, and that just requires some redstone torches. Uh, we need five more. Actually, I want most of that redstone. And we should be able to... Oops, got to make the comparators first. Um, there's one, two, and then this should be the drawer controller. Perfect. So if you're not familiar with drawers, um, basic gist is these hold, um, one type of item and it holds like an infinite amount. Um, not an infinite amount, but a very large amount. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> they can be crafted to hold a lot more. Um, where it seems like an infinite amount and I don't actually know if we have Access to the infinite no, so there is a, a creative item that allows for infinite items, but um, And then infinite storage upgrade. This is near infinite storage. So you can um, One is a creative item that lets you basically withdraw items from nothing um, the other one is a uh, it, the, the drawer can store infinite items um, nearly it's it's an insanely high number that it might as well be infinite uh, but let's go ahead and do this over here and what we're gonna have is we're gonna have a line of machines doing different things and we're just gonna want a couple of these guys and what happens is let's grab some of our materials so we're gonna want sand we're gonna want dirt um, we'll have gravel and dust as well. Um, so we'll do stone, glass, no, stone, gravel, um, dirt, dust, and eh, stone, dirt, sand, gravel, dust, or sand, glass, dust, dirt, or yeah, I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just not conveying it very well. Uh, let's, let's grab some other things. Uh, we should have a piece of stone that will work. Um, do we have, we have a piece of glass we can take, uh, there should be some gravel in here, dirt, we have more of, and I, we don't have any dust right now, but that's okay. Um, we don't really need to fill up everything, it's fine, but, uh, so we'll have stone here, um, and then gravel, dust. Sand, uh, sand glass. There we go. That is what I was trying to say. 
And so we can take these items out, obviously, um, but we can also, if we have anything in our inventory, we can just click on the drawer controller and it puts everything in where um, everything else, uh, anything, any drawer that is connected to it, it will put the items in there. We have a sheep. Uh, so do we have the one thing that would be really nice to have for drawers? I don't see one. So we're gonna have to make a drawer key. Uh, so these require a, an upgrade template. So we are gonna need to make another drawer. That's not a big deal. And um, we're gonna need to surround that by sticks. Uh, that is an upgrade template. And then the drawer key is just a little bit of gold. And um, we did complete another quest. Uh, so upgrade templates, they are really important. And we'll get the drawer controller later. So uh, random reward, oh, cool. That is reinforced conversion kit. That is actually really nice. Um, so the drawer key allows us to lock drawers. And what that means is basically if a drawer is locked, its contents will never fully disappear. Um, in terms of, it will remember this drawer is supposed to hold stone. So if I take the last stone, um, I can't put anything else into it um, but stone. And yeah, it just, it remembers that it has stone in it. And that's, that's it. Um, pretty useful, but uh, a little bit kind of odd if you don't if you're not familiar with that kind of stuff uh but basically it just remembers that it is what the contents should be and that's the only thing that will ever be able to get into that drawer as long as it is locked so that's it's usually a nice thing to do um it's something you usually want to do and we're we're, we're gonna do that so um that being said uh i think what i need to do now is actually do a little bit more prep work. I kind of forgot to look and see how much iron I had. Um, I don't think we have, oh, never mind. We have plenty of iron. Um, cancel that. Uh, and we actually have the diamonds needed to upgrade the cobblestone generator uh, to its at least higher tier. So we're gonna get a cobblestone generator tier two and then a tier three which is another quest. Um, tier four, we can't quite get yet uh, because tier four requires blaze rods and we don't really have good access to blaze rods right now. Um, we will later, but right now, not so much. Um, so with that, we can start working on everything else we need. So um, in order to make all of these um, various machines and whatnot, um, we're going to be using, like I said, mechanism. Um, and for this, we're actually going to need, so we're gonna need two energized smelters and we're gonna need a lot of steel for this. Um, that might be a little bit of a problem, but not if we get to pulverizing uh, right away. And you know what? We got that conversion kit. We're going to be pulverizing a lot of things. Or do we want... Hmm. That'll be faster. Uh, I do believe. Yes, that is much faster. Uh, so we're going to be pulverizing to get a bunch of steel. We are going to need... So cobblestone into stone and sand into glass. We are going to need two energized smelters. Um, so we're going to need two, four glass, um, some redstone, and a steel casing. We are going to need, let's see, one, two steel casings, and then um, one, two, three, four crushers. So we're going to need six machines in total. Um, so let's make sure we have enough of the resources um, we're probably going to need more osmium. Uh, do we have any more osmium? We have a little bit of osmium chunks. 
So let's go ahead and get that smelting up. That'll help a little bit. Uh, and we can actually start working on some of the circuitry stuff um, right away. So let's just focus on the energized smelters. We're going to need um, four basic circuits. And I have to remember the basic circuits require, okay, 10 redstone. In different versions of the mod, they require different amounts. In newer versions of uh, mechanism, it actually requires 20 for the control circuits. Um, and then we're going to need eight more of those um so let's just get that one two three four five six seven eight and we'll get all the control circuits um we can also take a bunch of this stuff and make a good bit of steel we're gonna need six times four which is 24 and we're also gonna need a bunch of lava um and redstone in general so we're, we're gonna need six of these machines in total we can go ahead and get that uh, and then the actual steel casing does require a good bit of glass so we're gonna need uh, 24 glass plus a little bit more we're gonna need a good bit of glass and in a second we'll get our first osmium block and then it's just a matter of getting the steel um, so honestly this isn't too expensive um, but things are going to get more expensive when we try to automate more stuff because of wires and whatnot. So, um, we're going to skip around a little bit between different things, but, uh, let's see, do we have, we have most of the basic control circuits. That is good. And we're going to need two glass. Uh, and you know what, let's just go ahead and make another crafting, uh, just one. Another crafting station, uh, we'll put it here, and this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, and just balance that. Uh, we just need the steel. And so there is two steel casings, which will give us the two energized smelters, which I believe, is that not a quest? Uh, I guess there's not quest for that in this mod pack. Um, so the energized smelters, we can place wherever we want. Um, we'll probably put most of the stuff on the like middle of the wall, but um, yeah, we'll kind of we'll kind of play things by ear. Uh, let's get all the machines first. They do not stack, which is unfortunate. Uh, and while we're kind of waiting on that stuff, because uh, we are going to have to wait on the steel, uh, let's go ahead and I can at least show you guys a little bit of what we're going to be doing in terms of automating the inscribers. So, um, two of those. We're going to need, let's see... Um, A lot of, of a lot of these item filters so let's make like five of them I think we can only make four of them right now but that's fine um, so we'll make four item filters and um, what we can do with these so we take our inscribers stuff um, let's put that away that away and that's fine. Uh, let's grab this. Okay, so we're just gonna put this down here for a second. Um, we are gonna need a chest, which should be in here. Perfect. Okay, so something I wanna see. So we put a chest down um, and we put these things down. Uh, so if we tell this, this is going to be the logic press. Um, and we put this insert, uh, we put a filter in, uh, and we tell it whitelist gold, and then extract always active. If we put osmium in there, it doesn't do anything, but if we put a piece of gold in there, it goes right on in. And it actually makes what 
It's supposed to because this thing still has a little bit of power. So it makes the printed logic circuit. That is good to know. Now, if we switch things around, um, is it smart? So if we put insert, um, and we put a piece of redstone in, and one of these, uh, extract always active. Okay, it is smart. We can just go on the side. Perfect. So that means we can just set these guys like so. And what we can do is just have something like this connected to our chest. And um, there will also be another uh, one of these, the ME interfaces. Uh, and then what we can do is set this up. This is the in silicon inscriber. This one will be engineering. Um, and what we'll want is insert basic item filter gold. Um, this one will have an insert with a basic item filter. We'll turn it, we'll keep it as, as it is for now. And then this will be extract and we'll have it, hmm. We can have it be slightly different, but extract will be fine. Um, always active and it should take the product out so it will take the printed logic circuits and put it in the last one which is going to have an insert with an extract on a different channel uh, and we're going to put a filter in here that will have um, all three logic circuits and the silicon plus redstone so that it can make the processors so let's get this all set up um, at least for the logic and then this can be the oops that's engineering, uh, logic, uh, calculation, engineering. Um, so I'll set the red, the, the other two up, but we need to get a piece of silicon. Um, and I gotta remember how to get silicon, uh, in this mod pack. Is it okay? Any, any dust smelt it up. Um, so let's go ahead and finish this up just because, uh, we are running a little bit late on time. And I guess we'll have to grind up some stuff. Um, how much? We still need more coal. So let's get two more blocks. Why not? Or at least, you know, 16 more. Uh, so let's get the Surtis Quartz. Um, we need the Surtis Quartz dust more than anything. Do I have any dust lying around? I do not see any. So let's just grind up one of these guys. And then we can, we can go from there. So I need a little bit more. So if it's for each, um, I need 16 more. Okay, and then we can just cook up a piece of silicon and we can get this kind of situated. Uh, so the silicon, we will put a filter on the silicon press. So this first one, um, we'll have insert extract. Uh, insert is going to be silicon. Um, and so if we were to put this in here, uh, it should go in there, but it doesn't have any power. Uh, and then what we'll want is it'll extract on green. We'll add the silicon down here. Um, but if I put, oh, it hasn't actually done anything because it can't yet. Um, this is extract never yet. Yeah. Okay, so let's get a little bit of power lines. Uh, and can we actually connect this? No. We need one more. Um, okay. Do we have any more quartz? No, of course not. And I don't really want to move this stuff. 
but might have to. You know, let's move this. This should transfer power, right? I think, maybe. Uh, so one, two, and then if I could figure out where the other cable went. Um, because I had three cables. I don't think it got picked up by anything. Did it get picked up by the... Smeltery? No. Where did it go? Oh, there's the other barrel. Um... I am only slightly confused. Okay, so... I have no idea where it went. Okay. Well, anyways, um, I will finish this thing off later because I am, like I said, running out of time to do everything we need to. Um... That is really strange. I am really confused by that. Uh, that is strange. I, I do wonder where that went. Because I know I had three... Three pieces, right? Um... If I get away from that area, I don't see anything on the mini-map. That is so strange. Uh, okay. So, anyways, um, once we have power to these guys, um we can just start working on getting everything kind of well in place. Um, and the inscribers should be set up pretty easily just with a couple filters. And then going from there, it's gonna be pretty simple. So it's not, it's not too complicated, not too big of a deal. Um, and we'll be able to get things taken care of in that sense. Like, you know, we'll, we'll be able to make the automatic uh, processors pretty easily. That is really strange. I swear I had three. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and finish making this. So basically what we're going to have is um, all the machines in a line and... Then we can have the energized smelters at the end. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to put them away from this. So this will also need filters and whatnot. Um, but we can also be a little bit clever with uh, the various like inputs and outputs. So for example, uh, we can actually get away with less filters uh, because of that. So once this is done, which should be pretty quickly... Uh, especially if I speed it up just a little bit. Uh, we can make the steel casings. And then we just need to get one more bucket. And I want to see if it actually uses the buckets in the, the craft. Um, but we need just some buckets of lava. It does not. Perfect. Uh, so let's get... You know, let's get two more buckets, uh, just to make it a little bit quicker. And we need to grab the rest of the control circuits. So we can just put those up. And there we go. So there is all of the crushers. Uh, and those can be placed like so as well. Now, why am I using mechanism? Well, there is this really cool thing called a basic tier installer, which we're not going to make today. But what these do is they allow you to basically upgrade these machines to factories. And what a factory will do is it lets you have more. Um, so crushing factory, um, there is the basic tier. This can crush three things at a time uh the advanced is five and then the elite is seven 
Now they use more power, but they are faster and they do more all at once. Now, why would we want that? Well, here's the thing. If we have our cobblestone generator, and we're gonna put a basic drawer just to store the cobblestone, uh, we're gonna lock that. Um, the cobblestone needs to be put into two places. Um, it needs to be evenly spread, which we can do with extract always active round robin enabled. Um, and we can put green into here and it'll start placing green into the crusher. Now this doesn't have power right now, so it's not gonna work, but we also need uh, to have an insert on green on here so that we can make stone. So this is gonna make gravel, this is gonna make stone, and with round robin, we can actually uh, use it, it'll send the first set to the first one, the second set to this one, and then back to this one. It goes back and forth between them, so it'll kind of keep it relatively even. Now, the gravel will be just turned into dirt, so this will be extract on brown, let's say, and this will be insert on brown, and this will get the gravel. Now, there might be a little bit of a problem of the uh, input-output. I don't know that you can take both out from the same spot, um, that's something we're gonna have to look into but that's if that's the case we can just put it on the back and we can um, wire the the conduits together not a big deal so gravel from here will go into here to be made into dirt um, but we also want um, we are gonna need filters okay so if we want that we're also gonna want round robin extract let's say always active um, but we're going to need, so we can change this to, uh, let's change these to a different color. Let's go to red, not insert, extract, this one insert on red, um, because cobblestone is not going to go into the end. Um, but we need to have the gravel go to both this place, um, which is going to make it into dirt as well as into the drawers. So I think if we extract on green, uh, that'll be better. And then we'll, we'll still need some filters, but that's okay. So it's gonna be a little bit of a, we'll need some more filters. We need to do a little bit more work, but for the most part, um, it's not too bad. So that, is gonna be it for today's episode because this has gone on way too long. We have another in uh, Supremium, which is nice. Uh, and what I need to do is between episodes, I'm going to work on uh, getting a bunch of resources together and starting to get some of these filters up and running. Um, I really, really, really wanna find out what happened. I swear I had three conduits and then one just disappeared. Uh, it's so weird. And uh, I just want to get a little bit of power to this so I can uh, get all this stuff done. But I will do that between episodes. Uh, it is just kind of setting up filters and whatnot. Uh, same with the um, factory. I'll see if that will work um, the way I think it will. It might need to have some extra conduits, but that's not that big of a deal. It is going to need to have the um, filters as well but they'll be pretty simple filters and we can get that going um next time so from there um i'm not entirely sure what we're going to do next um we need to still work with machines but i also need to kind of dig out and plan this area a little bit better and i wanted to get the cobble works up and running so that i could start making the chiseled blocks that i want which is the factory blocks so we'll see but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.